morning, happy Sunday. Okay, so meal number one today is going to be the chocolate chip pancake made into a waffle. So in this bowl, I put the chocolate chip pancake mix. I put quarter cup of egg beaters and quarter cup of water. That's it. And I'm gonna put this into my full-sized waffle maker right now. So let me go get my cooking spray, be right back. Okay, so I sprayed this with cooking spray and now I'm gonna pour the batter of the pancake mix, the egg beaters and the water into the um, waffle maker here. Here come the chocolate chips. Oh yes. It's raining here this morning. It's crappy outside. And I think this is just gonna make a really nice Sunday morning breakfast. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna allow this to cook open just like this for just a little while. Because if I don't do that and I close this, this will overflow because between the water and the egg beaters, it's a lot more full than normal. So we're gonna let that cook until little bubbles start appearing, then I'm gonna close it. Little bubbles are starting to happen in the pancake. So I'm gonna give it another few seconds and then I'm gonna close it up. Actually, I'm gonna close it up right now. <laughs> Let's get this thing closed. And I do it nice and slow. Make sure that nothing overflows. And you'll be able to see this, it starts to rise a little bit while it's cooking. And here comes the steam. When that steam stops, that's how you know your waffle is ready. And I do keep mine on the highest temperature that it goes. I just like it that way. You can see it's lifting, see that? So excited. And I am gonna use a little bit of Walden Farm syrup. All right, so we'll be back when that waffle's just about ready. All right, guys, I'm gonna open this up and take a peek. There we have it. Belgian waffle out of the chocolate chip pancake mix. It's nice and big, it's thick, and I always take it and I fold it. And that's how I make these giant sized waffles. So I'm gonna plate this up and I'm gonna show you the syrup I use. Please excuse the background noise of making Jess some coffee, but <clears throat> ta-da! So I have two little drizzles of this Walden Farms pancake syrup, and I eat it by dipping. That's how I like to do it. All right, guys, it's time for feeling number two, and I'm gonna make, I'm gonna hack the mashed potatoes into a bagel. So you need one pack of the Optavia mashed potatoes, two egg whites, we're only gonna use the white, a teaspoon of baking powder, and some everything but the bagel seasoning. I also cut a circle out of parchment paper because my air fryer is circular. So I'm gonna lay this on top and we are gonna get started. All right, here we go. So into this mixing bowl here, we're gonna take the mashed potatoes, one packet, like I said. Now you can double and triple this to your liking, but I like them fresh, so I'm gonna do one packet. I'm gonna add two egg whites. There's one. Whoops, and two. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna add one teaspoon of baking powder. So this is half a teaspoon. So I'm gonna do two of these. One teaspoon. And then I'm gonna take my whisk and whisk it on up. And you're gonna see that this batter is very uh, jelly-like due to the egg whites, because we're not um, we're not adding the water yet. And sometimes you don't even have to add water because sometimes the egg whites are larger than you know each egg is individual, right? So when you see it having this much play to it, it's like a dough, then we're fine. And I'm actually not even gonna add water. 
All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna form that into a bagel shape and we're gonna put it in the air fryer. So let's show you how that's done. I'm gonna pour it in and I'm gonna try to make it into a circle. If I can't accomplish that, I'm just gonna do it as a one big, like a roll. Let me get my rubber spatula out. It'll scrape the sides nice. All right, so here comes the bagel dough. Now, if you want to put this in a regular oven, you can. It's like 12 minutes at 325, I believe. So here we go. I'm going to spread it out. And I'm going to try to make the circle by spinning that around. All right, hold on, guys. I have to hold this. This is getting a little tricky, but we're going to do it. I'm going to spread it apart. It's working. Just have to take your time and make the hole in the middle. All right. You guys see that? Now I'm going to take the everything but the bagel seasoning and I'm going to sprinkle some on top. There we go. One giant bagel going into the air fryer. All right, so I wanna let you know that halfway through, I did flip it over because I went to check on it and the bottom was still very soft. So let's take a peek. So earlier when I went to flip it, this is what the top looked like. Doesn't that look like a bagel? Seriously, look how thick it is. So I'm gonna let it cook for another minute or two just so the top gets to be browned and we'll be back. All right guys, so it's out of the air fryer. Here we go. Big time bagel. So I'm gonna cut this, put it in a plate and show you what it looks like. All right, here comes the cutting of the bagel. And it feels like a bagel. Look at this, it looks like a bagel. Seriously, it looks like bread. Can you even believe this? Okay, I have to put something on it. Hold on. All right, we're doing a, a laughing cow wedge. I can't not have this without something on it. You can use light cream cheese. You can use laughing cow. You can put, you know, something like some spinach and turkey, you know, a little bit of your lean, something on it. But seriously, I can't. This is so good. All right, now this side. Oop. <laughs> you know, in every video of mine, something either falls over or something, right? All right, so this feels and looks like bread. Craziness. Okay, so let's put it together and let's take a bite. Let's take a bite. Happy dance. This is a bagel next to my face, look at the size of this bagel. So you have two egg whites, a little bit of baking powder, mashed potatoes. Oh my God, so good. You could even, check this out. You could even take some turkey bacon, egg and cheese, and make a breakfast sandwich. Hi, Britt. Well, I'm going to go enjoy my mashed potato fueling bagel hack, and I'll see you at the next fueling. Bye, guys. It's crappy today and rainy, <laughs> but I want these dogs to go out. Come on, girls. I'm taking them into the backyard. In case you're wondering, I'm wearing jeans. It's definitely not a summer day. Oh, my gosh. Go to the bathroom, girls. Come on. Good girl, Paisley. Paisley goes immediately. Come on, you going to go? You gonna go parties? Woo, it's chilly out here today. All right, so we're going over to Michael's because for the wake, uh, the request from our Aunt Jane was she didn't want any flowers there. So we're gonna get some easels and like chalkboards or bulletin boards and we're gonna make a ton of them um in the funeral home with all of her pictures and she was an attorney so 
There's some really good pictures of her back in the day when she was sworn in and we don't want to ruin them with thumbtacks. So we're going to do that. Um, so I'm meeting my son and his girlfriend over there. We're going to get that done. We have a lot of stuff. The week is Tuesday. So I'm trying to get some stuff done. Um, other than that, it's crapola out today. <laughs> All right. I'm going to let you guys go. I'm still eating this thing. This is big and filling. I have to be honest. But it's so good. Please make this. If you've already done it and love it, let me know in the comment section. I want to know how you do it. Do you put anything? What do you put on it? You can make pizza bagels out of this. Oh, my gosh. Sky is the limit. All right. See you in a while. So we just got out of Michael's, accomplished everything we needed to get. So now we stopped off at Pliables. Brittany wants to get something to eat. And then we're going to hit uh, Home Goods and then home. Oh my God, I just forgot. I just ate, <laughs> I just ate my fueling and I forgot to film it. Guys, I'm so sorry. Oh my God. All right. So I had, here's my wrapper. I stuck it in the door. Sorry, guys. I had the peanut butter, silky peanut butter bar. I totally forgot. I did it while we were driving. I apologize. All right, so that was fueling number three. And honestly, that bagel that I made before totally filled me up. I could seriously have gone another hour without eating, but I don't want to um, go longer than three hours. So brought this along with me. I'm about halfway through it. This is my third water for the day so 24 ounces times three i am cranking on the water all right we're at lean and green and i have um what do i have nine eight 270 grams of spinach sauteed with a little bit of cooking spray olive oil spray and i'm 96 percent ground beef i just put it in a, a skillet and chopped it up and added a little bit of fat-free feta on top. And that is Lean and Green tonight, guys. See you at the next fueling. We are at fueling number five. Chocolate shake. I did put a tablespoon of PB2 in there and lots of ice. Mmm. So good. This is like a dessert, I swear. I'm out of sugar-free whipped cream now. Doesn't that look good? Mm. Mm. If I had the sugar-free whipped cream, I would have poured some on top, but maybe it's a good thing I don't have any because sometimes I overdo it. <laughs> I just can't help it. All right, so I'll see you. At the last fueling, we're going over to my mother-in-law's house in a little while, spend some time with her, and I'll see you later.